About three years ago, I encountered what I could only explain then as a deformed hyena. It was in the later part of the day under dusky conditions, and I was small game hunting at the time. I did not feel any fear because I was carrying my over-under shotgun. And for some time before I saw it, I'd heard a very, very long coughing noise, like a cat coughing up a fur ball. However, this went on for a long time. So whatever did it had a strong and large lung capacity. I doubt a lynx or a cat could have been the noise maker. However, I have no idea if this dog-like creature that I later saw was the source of this strange and long coffin fit. In addition, another strange thing along this trail was, I always seemed to be under the watchful eyes of a high-flying turkey vulture. Now these are newcomers to Alberta, but a few mating pairs have been reported up here. And this is common local knowledge that no one questions. This coffin bout, I'd heard at least once before in this specific area. However, I had never seen the source in the nearby dense boreal forest. This wooded area is kind of on the edge of a oil exploration and is an active work area now. So I don't hunt there anymore, which is too bad as it's chock full of a small game such as rabbits and grouse. Well, during the encounter, the woods were unnaturally quiet. It's hard to move in many areas off trail because the evergreen limbs reach so far close to the ground so an upright person would be stooped over to move at any kind of speed in many areas. Quadrupeds have a definite advantage here over people, and the area is also ringed with swamps and a, a very uneven marshy ground that you could easily turn your ankle on. Well, when I saw this animal, I sat down on a large rock with my gun across my lap and caught a first glimpse as it was circling me, I think, to catch my scent on the wind. I just caught a glimpse of it passing behind a tree in the dusky light conditions. It had hocks like a dog. But as it came around that tree, still on all four legs, I noticed the front legs were longer than the back legs its back bowed upward, and I got the distinct impression its frontal back, chest, and leg muscles were much more pronounced and muscular than its back legs. Looking at it, I noticed its eyes were kind of strange, and I remember it had very pointy ears. Its head was almost cartoon-like as its snout had messed up overgrown hair. Its fangs looked unusually long too. I believe the front coat was a lighter color with some reddish tones as well. It looked like a hyena loose in North America to my own eyes. It was not a black bear. I am very familiar with black bears. It was canine-like, but not like any canine I had ever seen before or since. My brother, who was not there, found a near perfect picture of another critter online on another crypto site, and the picture was said to be taken very near the Wisconsin River. In the picture, it looked like it was on farmland coral or fence line, 
in the early spring because of the white and light snow cover. It was the near twin to what I saw that fall evening in Alberta.